Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Indianapolis as we're getting set for the first elimination race. As there's the starting grid over to your left, John T. Richardson's on the pole. Skylar Taylor starts last with a pretty bad qualifying effort. There's a look at the playoff grid as well as your points heading into this race. I finally got the name right of the 56. It's Pora Sirastava. Still trying to learn that name still. Pora Sirastava. So, yeah. Anyway, John T. Richardson ready to bring us to the green. It'll be 24 laps of racing here at Indianapolis. When the checker flag waves at this track, four drivers will be eliminated from the championship. Of course, you've already seen your playoff grid and... We're green at Indianapolis. Who will be in the Elite Eight? Who will be eliminated? We're going to find out today. Chris Maley came in this race 150 points above the cut line. 10 points ahead of Skylar Taylor is 140. Those two will no doubt move on the next round, regardless what happens today. Connor Breton, 74 above the cut line. Zachary Fitzwater, 73. Bradley Ream, 62 above the cut line. Quinton Moore, 30 above. Kyler Anderson, 14 above, as we're going to have a change for the lead, which is Anna Steiner. And Akita Kuznetsov comes in this race in that critical eighth position in points. Jeff Scott came in this race 10 points below the cut line. Prunes Martindale, 13 below. Josh Sharman, 43 below. And Alexander Underwood, 52. I don't think... Either of them are in must-win situations, I don't think. But if either of them go to victory lane, they're in the next round regardless. And, oh no, we're going to have three wide back there. Oh boy, can we keep it together, please and thank you. How did we not rack... How did we not wreck? Oh, looks like they've wrecked because I see the packs separate. Caution's more than likely out. And if the caution is out, these drivers are racing back to the line. Yep, I saw the yellow lights flashing, so the yellow is out for the first time here today. I want to check the onboard to make sure we are under yellow. Indeed, we are. Now comes the question, were any of our playoff drivers involved? If they are involved, this could spell the end of the road for their playoff hopes. First caution, lap number three. I'm really scared who's involved, because I only see two of the playoff drivers right there, the 34 and the 35. Tatiana Naguera is involved, Zachary Taylor is involved, Jesse Art is involved, Austin Shaw is involved. I don't see any damage to Lucci and Bianchi. Samad Oskin is involved. A lot of damage to that machine. Mitchell Hodak is involved. I don't know a playoff contender. Jeff Scott is involved. Oh, no, they're backing up under yellow. Come on, y'all. Can we not back up under yellow, please? Even Murray's got damage. Playoff contender uh, Josh Harmon's now got damage as a result of this. And it looks like Jeff Scott might have gotten involved. And if he falls out of the race due to that stack up, he will be the first of four drivers getting eliminated. Let's see. This starts, looks like Tatiana gets in the left rear of Austin Shaw. They come down into Jesse Art. Quentin Moore was involved. That's a playoff contender. Points leader Chris Maley's involved. Kyler Anderson's involved. That's another playoff contender. Oh, that's not good for um, Kyler because he came in this race 14 points above the cut line. And Jeff Scott was involved. How did he get turned? There's where Austin Shaw gets his damage. Looks like he hit playoff contender um, Chris Maley, nearly got Quentin Moore involved. Nowhere for Austin Shaw to go. There's where Samad Oskin gets a piece. Mitchell Hodak gets involved. Gutierrez gets involved. 
Ava Murray, Priya McShane, Zachary Taylor fails to use the brakes because he's too busy dreaming about how the Indianapolis Colts are going to have a crappy season. Brian James sneaks his way through, nearly hits his teammate. But Jeff Scott was involved. Zachary Taylor's day is done. And if Jeff Scott falls out of this race, that looks like he's not going to be out of the race. But that's not good news for Kyler Anderson. Josh Harmon, this is bad news for him. Josh Harmon, 43 points below the cut line. I can safely say that might be his championship hopes done, boys and girls. Now, well, this is not good. And what Josh Harmon's got to hope and pray for is drivers ahead of him in points encounter trouble, which is which Kyler Anderson is one of those drivers. And we're going to check and see who's out of the race. I know there was a, some non-playoff contenders involved that are out of the race behind the wall. Oh, no. Alexander Underwood is in trouble. And he needed a good run. If Alexander Underwood drops out of the race, that's his championship hubs done. Just like that. Anna Steiner is going to be the leader. Drivers out, and they're all non-playoff contenders. Samad Ozkin, Austin Shaw, Tatiana Nagora, Jesse R, and Zachary Taylor. Zachary Taylor, second time in the last three races, he's finished in the as Cody Smart likes to call it, the reverse spot. The reverse winner. Steiner's the leader. Breton will be second. Boris Sergalov third. Maxi Chilton fourth. John T. Richardson fifth. Prudence Martindale sixth. Seventh is poor Salvi... Salvi... Salvi Teva. I still... Did, I now butchered it. Damn it. Fitzy is eighth. William Donuts ninth. And now Bradley Ream cracks the top ten. As we're back to green flag racing. And like I said, if Alexander Underwood falls out of the race, that will be his championship hopes done. And I was pronouncing it, and now I butchered it. Good job, me. See, this is why I don't, I'm not good at pronouncing shit. I pronounced it right and now I butchered it. Congratulations. Connor Breton just got the wall there. There's Prudence Martindale going to the grass, or some trucks going down the apron for some reason. Not sure why. Alexander Underwood is going to continue in this race. That's the good news. The bad news is he's going to need a caution. Checking for playoff contenders. There's some back here at the rear of the field. Well, Chris Maley can afford a bad finish. Same with the gal that came as race second in points. That would be Skylar Taylor. Oh, there, there goes the 28. Pollard, Maley. Oh, and oh. And Arca Briggs, Mitchell Hodak, please use the brake pedal. Even Murray's involved. Second yellow of the race. Somebody tell some drivers, please use the dang brake pedal for crying out loud. That's why they're on these trucks for a reason. This is not rocket science. Anna Steiner will now lead us back to our second caution of the day. Good thing for Chris Maley. He came his race 150 points above the cut line because he's had two good results. So I think Chris Maley, Chris Maley will be all right. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I think they were they were near. They almost went four one. I think Ingrid Pollard just squeezed the thirty in the wall, and didn't give the thirty a chance to back off. Both in the wall. Carlos Rodriguez gets a piece of it, and Mitchell Hoda or even Murray just 
comes flying in there. Mitchell Hodak just fails to use the brakes and not use common sense for crying out loud. That's why the 28 is torn up. Good news for Alexander Underwood. He'll catch up. Alexander Underwood just dodged a big break, but of course the points leader is involved. Well, the good news for him, he's already in the next round of the playoffs because, you know, with 150 points, he can definitely ill afford a bad finish. Skylar Taylor, I think the same for her, who came as race 140 points above the cut line, so I don't think she's going to have that to worry about. I think her big worry is going to be her, her, uh, her other driver, Josh Harmon. That's the other driver. She's got to worry about. We have just gotten the one to go signal. We'll be at the halfway mark for today's race. I'm going to get these cars off of turn number four as we're going to go green. This is good news for Prudence Martindale out of the race. Mitchell Hodak, Avon Murray, and Ingram Pollard. None of them are in the playoffs, so there you go. Back to green, and by the way, the gal that came this race 13 points below the cut line, I see her in fourth. That's Prudence Martindale. This is good news for her because drivers ahead of her in points like Kyler Anderson, I don't know where the nine is on the restart, 20th. So she's ahead of the nine. She's also ahead of. She's also ahead of uh, Jeff Scott, who was torn up. She's ahead of Nikita Kuznetsov, and she's ahead of Kyler Murray. Or not Kyler Murray. Excuse me, Kyler Anderson. I keep thinking of a football player, but was, anyway, she's ahead of Kyler Anderson. I believe she's also ahead of Quentin Moore. No, yeah, she is ahead of Quinton. I don't know. It's going to be tough for Martindale, but we'll have to wait and see if that's correct. Apologize to Kyler Anderson. I'm just, I'm just tired now. I'm trying to go to bed, and I've this is like my second race I've recorded tonight as of this recording. And remember how I said that uh, back at Polk. Yeah, back at Pocono, that with Bianchi win, I'm predicting either Chilton or uh, Nogueira winning. Well, Maxi Chilton, the only one that's left, because I don't know what happened, because Bianchi's had a bad day, and Tatiana Nogueira, the queen of awesomeness, is out of the race. Oh, Maxi Chilton hits the wall. Prudence Martindale says, thank you very much, Maxi. I will go by you. Not sure why Connor Breeden's on the apron. Oh, yellow's out. For the third time today. Whoa, did we have a wreck there on the front straightaway? Or was I just saying things? I'm probably just saying things. Alright, what brought out this yellow, I'm assuming? Because there's no other... Re oh, must have been Dylan Matthews and possibly Chris Maley. I think these two lads were the reason for the yellow. Yeah, it looks like that might be the case. And, oh, Josh Harmon's involved. That's a playoff contender. And it looks like Dylan Matthews got turned by playoff contender Skylar Taylor. Well, Skylar Taylor's got damage. Well, Josh Harmon just had nowhere to go. Just runs the side of the Menards Ford F-Series. That's not good news for Josh Harmon because, remember, he came as race 43 points below the cut line. If he drops out of the race, that's his championship hopes finished, y'all. Josh Harmon cannot drop out of the race. I'm going to put it right here to see if he's going to drop out of the race. If he does, he's out. And looks like he's going to continue on, but it's going to be really an issue. I'm saying, like I said, I don't think 27th where Jeff Scott is. I don't think Jeff Scott's going to make the next round. Josh Harmon running in 32nd. Alexander Underwood, 28th. I think right now, those three would be eliminated as of right now. The toss-up's going to be who's going who will be the fourth. Because Kuznetsov is running in uh, 15th. 
Kyler Anderson's had trouble. The thing I think they're worried about is if Martindale goes to victory lane, if she goes to victory lane in this race, there's a keyword if, it's not when she goes to victory lane in this race, it's if she goes to victory lane. That's bad news for drivers like Kuznetsov and Gutierrez is out with a gearbox failure. Wah, wah, wah. So, you have to keep an eye on it. Tough break for Gutierrez. Former winner this season did not make the playoffs, sadly. And he came into this race. Where is Gutierrez in points? He came in this race 21st in points. Fortunately, he's going to take a hit. Because right now I can I can probably confirm this, but like I said, I don't I'm really not sure who's gonna get eliminated. You know, Quentin Moore. Ooh, I don't I really do not have a clue. And I'm just gonna mention this to everybody. I do not have a darn clue who's gonna be eliminate the official drivers that get eliminated until I get um, points up. I'm just going to say that right here and right now. And if I try to take a guess, I will be a thousand percent wrong. So do not quote me on that until you see it in the Discord as we're back to green. Yeah, because I'm looking as of right now, if Martin Neal stays right where she is, I believe. I think the four that would get eliminated. But it's going to be a toss-up. And Martindale's trying to go for the lead. I can probably confirm Josh, Har Josh Harmon's more than likely going to get eliminated. I think the question marks are going to be Quinton Moore, Kyler Anderson. I'll throw his name in the fire. Oh, there goes Martindale. Oh, there they go. They're wrecking, and Steiner's around, and the caution is out again. Oh, please don't hit her. Oh, please don't hit. Okay, Steiner got through. How we how we only got away with a one truck incident? I don't fucking know. Oh, looks like Chris Maley might have been involved again, and Kyle Langling came off pit road for some reason. Not sure what's up. And looks like poor have led us back to the yellow. And they wrecked under the yellow flag. I don't know who wrecked. Harmon's got a hood buckle. Oh, look out. Quentin Moore. See what happened. Well, 97 was the next car that got spun. I wonder if Prudence Martindale got a piece of this. Because... Let's follow the 0-2 because we saw the 97 go for a spin. Actually, let's stay with the 97. Turn 3, a trouble spot on the track. This is not a big surprise, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see, Martindale. I think Martindale would be okay. Yep, she got up in the grass. Got up in... Nearly got in the wall. There's how the 90s. And then Steiner goes up and gets the wall. And how everybody didn't get her or get into her, I do not know. But then, what happened over in turn one? Oh, Quentin Moore just hit uh, Ormy there. Not sure what that was all about between those two. But that doesn't explain why there are skid marks in turn number three. Or turn number one, sorry. Oh, uh, looks like Kuznetsov hooked Ormy. Yep. That's what happened. And Quentin Moore got shoved, got turned around by uh, Bianchi. Kyler Anderson and Josh Harmon, playoff contenders, pile in. And I believe Quentin Moore... 
Anna Steiner, nice job using the brake pedal there, young lady. I think everybody else was just trying to get back in line. And poor Sal Salvi Salvi Steva is the leader now. Poor of is the lead. As I do apologize if I've been butchering that driver's name up a lot this season. Stava. Salve Steve. Salve. Salve Steve. Salve Steve. Poor Salve Steve. I'll, I'll, I'll have to talk to Porath and see if we can get into a VC to make sure we pronounce it. Are we going green? Yes, we are. One lap dash. I love one lap dash. And nobody is up. Josh Harmon is out of the race due to that, due to the uh, incident. And that right there will mean Josh Harmon will sadly be one of the four drivers eliminated from the championship. So, Josh Harmon needed a good run today. Came as race 43 points below the cut line. That means we have now confirmed our first driver who is officially eliminated. And that's a tough break for Josh Harmon. And now he'll look to finish off his season with, a, with, more, with plenty of trips to victory lane. The green and white are out one more time around. Can Maxi Chilton do something I'm poor of? Or does Arena McShane have something to say about that? Martindale fell, by the way, back to 8th after that. Porov needs to have a good one. Needs a good run here. Looks like poor Salvi Steva. Okay, I said it right. Yay. And that's going to be it. Oh, yellow's out, but it doesn't matter. We'll actually look at the replay in a minute. But poor Salvi Steva will get his first win on the channel and wins at Indianapolis. Good win for poor Salvi Steva. But what brought out the yellow is my next quick. Skylar Taylor's in it. Kuznetsov's in it. Kyle Langland. Quinton Moore. Oh boy, this is going to have major implications. Michael Brown. Oh my goodness. None of them are going to finish this race. They're going to be a lap down. Let's see what happened. Big hit for Skyler. Glad she got out of the truck okay. Well, Skyler Taylor could, could definitely afford it. But that's bad news for Kuznetsov and Kyler Anderson. Oh, boy. Let's see where this incident took part on the last lap. Looks like Kuzi ran a bit wide. Gave Ormi too much room in the world. There's where he gets the wall there, and looks like Michael Brown's going to greet him. Yep. That's where Michael Brown, and right there gets Quentin Moore. Somebody else got turned. I think that's, oh, that's Bianchi. Last week's winner, Bianchi. Right there when the 9 jets the wall there, gets the 12 of Michael Brown, and poor Bianchi had it miss. Don't know if the 34 got a piece of it. I think so. I could be wrong. Nope, looks like 34 made it through. I think... Ooh, yep, Alexander Underwood made it through. And let's see where Sky... Oh, there's where Skylar Taylor came involved. Ran the side of Quinton. There's nets out of the race. Michael Brown flip. Kyle Langland hits Q man. My goodness. <coughs> Need to take a drink.
but a good win for poor Salvi Steva. Standings are now official. As this is race number 16. Sorry about that little choke there. Almost choked myself to death. Good grief. But poor Salvi Seva gets the win. Arena McShane gets second. Zachary Fitzwater came, finished third. He was 73 points above the cut line. Fitzwater's into the Elite Eight. Boris Sirkulov came home fourth. Ray stuck down the fifth. Prudence Martindale finished in sixth. Good news for her. A lot of drivers ahead of her in points. Jeff Scott had a bad day in 22nd. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I think Prudence Martindale is going to make the next round, but I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll have to wait and see. Maxie Chilton, 7th. Sean R, 8th. Matt, uh, Matthew Huber, ninth. John T. Richardson gets 10th. Let's find out where the rest of your playoff contenders, because I found one, two playoff contenders inside the top 10. Where did the rest of them finish? Connor Breeden, 11. That should be good enough for him to go to the Elite Eight. Same with Bradley Ream, 62 above. Bradley Ream's in the Elite Eight. Alexander Underwood finished 19th. I don't know if that's going to be enough. That's going to be questionable. We'll have to see about that. Uh, Kyler Anderson, 21st. I don't know. I don't know. That's going to be a toss-up on Kyler. Jeff Scott, 22nd. Uh, Kuznetsov came this race in that critical eighth in the points. Of course, he was involved, didn't finish the race. He's a lap down 28th. Quentin Moore, 30th. This is going to be really close. Skylar Taylor, good news for her. She's already in the Elite Eight because guess what? With two good results from Chicagoland and last week at Pocono, 31st. Well, you're lucky that's happened. Chris Maley, 26th. Well, Chris Maley is lucky he's in the next round of the playoffs or he would have been eliminated. Josh Harmon out of the race. Josh Harmon, I can confirm, is one of the four drivers eliminated from the playoffs. And, of course, the rest out of the race. Andrew Gutierrez, Ingrid Pollard, Aaron Murray, Mitchell Hodex, Samad Oskin, Austin Shaw, Tatiana Gora, Jesse Art, and Zachary Taylor finishing last for the second time in the last three races. But right now, I already know Josh Harmon's going to be eliminated I don't think 19th is going to be enough for Alexander Underwood. That's going to be uh, probably going to be his championship done. Same for uh, Jeff Sky. I think the question marks are going to be Quentin Moore and Kuznetsov and Kyler Anderson. But like, right, like I said, I don't have a good guess who's going to be the four that's gotten eliminated between those drivers I just mentioned. I already know Fitzwater, Skyler Taylor, May, Maley, Breton, Ream, maybe Prudence Martindale. I don't know. But the last two is kind of a guess. But as I said before, you will have to find that out when you see the official point standings in the Discord and the reformatted points and all that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this elimination race. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to become part of the PCS Raid crew today. We've shown your full finish results. You'll see your point standings the before the reformatted points. I'm very sorry to the four drivers who have been eliminated from the playoffs. Then you'll see the reformatted points in our pre-race show next week at Darlington. That will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from the Lady in Black. Eight drivers, one goal to get to the championship race. So, yeah. But like I said, I do not have a full guess of the four drivers who have been eliminated. You'll find that out in the Discord or in the description of this video. But until then, I've been Dean DeVolo signing off as you've been watching another broadcast of PCS Raid TV. The best in our racing since 2017, the Camping World Truck Series Playoffs rolls on.